this will be a set of five questions which are in series and it will be related from lpp so let's read the first question food x contains six units of vitamin d per gram and seven units of vitamin e per gram and its cost is 12 per gram food y contains eight units of vitamin d per gram and 12 units of vitamin e per gram and the cost is 20 per gram the daily minimum requirement is of vitamin d and e are 100 units and 120 units respectively suppose x represents the quantity of food x y represents the quantity of food y both are in gram we have to find or formulate the constraints for the lpp so let's draw a table first to have an understanding of what are the right conditions that are given here we are having food then it is x and y we are having vitamin d as well as vitamin e and we'll uh, write the cost associated with this so food x is having six units of vitamin d and seven units of vitamin e and the cost is 12 per gram food y has eight units of vitamin d and 12 units of vitamin e and the cost is 20 per gram and our basic idea is to uh, have, have a minimum minimum requirement so our objective objective is minimum constraint and the requirement for daily requirement for vitamin d is 100 units at minimum and for vitamin e is 120 units at minimum so these are the uh, information that is given and food x is represented as x and y is represented as y now let's uh, try to write the constraint so the first constraint uh, will be this that is for food uh, vitamin d we are having 6x plus 8y we are having minimum so it will be greater than or equal to 100 will be the first constraint second one will be this one 7x plus 12y greater than or equal to 120 and the, we are having a minimum so x comma y will be greater than or equal to 0 these are, these are the constraints that has to be formulated so from the options option d 6x plus 8y greater than 100 then 7x plus 12y greater than or equal to 120 x comma y greater than or equal to 0 so these are the constraints that are that are to be formulated so option d is the correct answer here we'll move on to the next question in next question we are asked to formulate the cost function of the total food involved so let's quickly draw the uh, table that was mentioned earlier so we are having food here vitamin d vitamin e the cost so food is x and y and the requirements are 6 7 cost is 12 and here 8 and 12 and that cost is 20 so the cost function will be this is the cost function this would represent the cost function so it will be ideally represented as z is equal to 12 times this represents x and y so 12x plus 20y this would represent the cost function so from the options we are having z equal to 12x plus 20y option c is the correct answer here now we'll see the question so here uh, we are asked to find out the uh, quantities in which uh, or which are the following quantities in grams for food x and y respectively when the cost of food is minimum so when the cost of food is minimum what are the following values of x and y so to solve that we'll use the uh, concept of graphical method graphical method in graphical method we have already got the constraints the constraints are 6x plus 8y greater than or equal to 100 then 7x plus 12y greater than or equal to 100 x comma y greater than or equal to 0 we have to minimize it minimize this minimize the total cost this is the basic constraint now we'll use graphical method in graphical method we'll try to draw two lines and find out the feasible region and from the feasible region which points are there from that we'll try to find out the answer so first we have to to uh, draw two lines to draw a line we'll have to get it in intercept form that is x by a plus y by b equal to one these are inequalities as of now but we'll make it into equalities for the uh, sake of solving the problem now 
with this constraint let's see how to solve it so x by a plus y by b equal to 1 will be the uh, equation of line 6x plus 8y equal to 100 will be 1 then 7x plus 12y equal to 120 will be another one so trying to make these equations in this form that is first of all 6x by 100 plus 8y by 100 equal to 1 this uh, in intercept form it will be like x by 50 by 3 plus y by 25 by 2 25 by 2 equal to 1 second one is 7x by 120 plus 12y by 120 equal to 1 this gets mapped to x by 120 by 7 plus y by it will be 120 by 12 it will become 10 this becomes 1 now we'll draw uh, two graphs to solve this so for, uh, for this equation uh, the two important points are this is the x-intercept form so this represents x-intercept and this represents the y-intercept y so the point of one coordinate will be for this line it will be 50 by 3 comma 0 the other one will be 0 comma 25 by 2 this is essentially 16.6 comma 0 and 0 comma 12.5 this represents the first line second line will be 120 by 7 comma 0 and the other line will be 0 comma 10 0 comma 10 so this will be 17.14 comma 0 and 0 comma 10 0 comma 10 this will be the two lines that are represented now let's try to draw a graph with this so we'll try to divide it equidistant so the maximum x value here will be almost close to 18 and here it will be 12.5 let's try to divide it into equal units 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 this will be 16 17 18 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 and here it will be uh, let's here it will be this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and uh, this, let's let, uh, let this represent 13 13 so the first line is 16.6 comma 0 so let's represent it almost here 16.6 comma 0 that is the first line and second line is 0 uh, second point is 0 comma 12.5 0 comma 12.5 means it will be coming here it will be coming somewhere around here so the uh, first line can be drawn like this it will be somewhere like uh, i'll redraw that line it will be coming somewhere around here somewhere like this let me redraw that line once again so that point will be 0 comma 12.5 12.5 is somewhere around here
will be somewhere around here the second one is 17.4 17.4 will come somewhere around here 17.4 comma 0 and then the second one is 0 comma 10 10 uh, comes to be here assume it is here so that will be the second line so these two lines will be coming like this so this will be intersecting at some point now see the question is minimizing so we have to find out the uh, the constraints are given as greater than both the equations are having a constraint of greater than or equal to here so and x comma y is also greater than or equal to zero so the uh, region, a feasible region uh, it will be above this part uh, because it will be this area this area will be the feasible region and we are, uh, the three intersecting points are one is this point another one is uh, this this point and another one is this point so in these three points we will be able to find the minimum value so one is 0 comma 12 uh, 12.5 that is this line 0 comma 12.5 another one is uh, 120 by 7 that is 17.14 that is this line this line and the third one we have to find the intersecting point to find the intersecting point we'll uh, solve the equations that is we'll solve two equations to uh, actually find out the line that is we'll solve these two equations to find out the intersecting point so to uh, uh, find the intersecting point let's say uh, let's try to solve it that is 6x plus 8y equal to 100 7x plus 12y equal to 120 so solving we'll get uh, this as 42x plus 56y equal to 700 42 x plus 72 y equal to 720 1 2 subtracting equation 1 minus 2 this means these signs will become negative we will be getting minus 16 y equal to minus 20 which implies y equal to 5 by 4 the value of y becomes 5 by 4 now let's plug this value of 5 by 4 in the other equation that is 6x plus 8y equal to 100 and the value of y turns out to be 5 by 4 so we'll get 6x plus 8 into 5 by 4 equal to 100 solving we'll get x is equal to 15 so now we have got the two points x is 15 and y equal to 15 by 4 15 by 4 so this is the one point so now let's try to uh, find out the minimum cost so the uh, points of our interest are 0 comma uh, 12.5 or 12 uh, 12 1 by 2 it is actually this is 12 not 12 by 2 this is 12 1 by 2 12.5 and the second one is we are having 15 comma 5 by 4 and the third one is 120 by 7 comma 0 so and our uh, cost function is z is equal to 12x plus 20y uh, let's remove this this is not required this is 12 by 2 only now for putting the plugging the values of x and y in the equations of z is equal to 12x plus uh, uh, 20y we'll be getting this value as 250 this will will be getting 205 and this value we will be getting 205.7 so the minimum value is 205 and the coordinate is 15 comma 5 by 4 so from the options option b 15 and 5 by 4 will be the uh, coordinates when uh, uh, at where the food cost is minimum and the minimum cost is 205 now the next question asked is what is the minimum cost of the food from the uh, previous uh, uh, question we are able to find out that the minimum cost of the food is 205 so option a will be the correct answer here now we are asked to find out the dual of the formulated lpp problem to find out the dual of the formulated lpp problem the easiest method is we are given z as what 12x plus 20y and the constraints given are 
6x plus 8y greater than or equal to 100 and 7x plus 12y greater than or equal to 120 and x comma y are greater than 0. So since initially we are asked to minimize, now we have to maximize. Maximize z is equal to and all the variables of x and y will be replaced with u and v because in options it is given as u and v. So the maximizing constraint will be this part. That is z is equal to 100 u plus 120 v and the constraints will be formulated from this that is 6 u will be having 6 u plus 7 v less than or equal to since uh, we initially it was greater than or equal to now it will be less than or equal to less than or equal to 12 and 8 u plus 12 v less than or equal to 20 and that is this thing less than or equal to 20 and x comma y will be greater than or equal to 0 so this is the constraint that has to be solved so let's see each options this option can be eliminated outrightly we will see which options can be eliminated and which is the correct one so six uh, maximize that is glue 100 u plus 120 v 100 u plus 120 v 6u plus 7v less than or equal to 12, 8u plus 12v less than or equal to 20, and u comma v. Here it will be u comma v, not x and y. u comma v greater than or equal to 0. So this satisfies the constraint. So uh, the dual of the formatted LPP is option 1, that is maximize z equal to 100u plus 120v subject to constraints 6u plus 7v less than or equal to 12, 8u plus 12v less than or equal to 20 u comma v greater than or equal to 0 option 1 is the correct answer here